in the church greenhouse, which is our ornamental shade and small ground cover greenhouse, I just wanted to show uh, some of the plants that are available during our early bird perennial sale. Um, we have Actea, also called the Simisifuga bugbane, in a couple different colors, dark leaf and the native. Aurelia Sun King, they're a little small right now, but they become almost like a shrub. And this is actually the perennial of the year for 2020. Um, it's a really nice, big, golden uh, plant that really stands out in the shade. Um, we have tons of hot of astilbes, um, lots of different colors. Everything's listed on our website, hansensgardenvillage.com. So these are really taking off. These are the Mighty series. I have four colors. They get very tall. Um, red and chocolate cherry are some of the popular ones. Vision series is a little more compact astilbe. Astilbes like to stay moist. They are deer resistant and they're gonna give these big spires of colors. Brunera or Brunera is a really popular uh, foliage type plant for shade um, and it blooms these pretty little bl blue flowers in the spring as well. So Jack Frost is um, the most common. We also have green and a new one this year called Queen of Hearts and then this is the, ver the Vergata. Um, bleeding Hearts, we have white, um, gold heart, which is pink with a, a chartreuse leaf. Valentine, which is considered red. We also have white gold, and that's finishing blooming now, but that's the chartreuse with the white. And then we have the classic uh, bleeding heart as well. We also carry fern leaf bleeding hearts. Um, they are a little more heat tolerant and uh, less likely to go dormant in the summer and they can rebloom under good growing conditions. If you have dry shade, epimediums are a really good solution uh, for that area. These can kind of colonize and make large plots and then they get all these little tiny flowers in different colors in the spring. Ferns, lots of ferns. Um, Japanese type painted ferns, uh, lady in red, um, and this is the new one this year called pearly white. It's just a lighter colored Japanese painted fern. Uh, hellebore, Lenten rose, uh, these already have finished blooming but they're one of the earliest bloomers. They come in double flowers or singles. And these are the ending of the flowers, so they're not as bright and colorful as they had been. Um, they're like an evergreen uh, spiky leaf. Uh, these are also very deer resistant, um, and they can get very big in your garden, um, and they do well in shade. Hostas, hostas can be deer candy, um, but if you have a, a good spot in your yard that's well sheltered, you really can't go wrong with some of these colors for shady areas. We have many different colors, sizes, shapes. Dancing Queen is the hosta of the year. This is called Electrocution. Fire Island's one of my favorites. It's very bright with red stems. Guacamole's the classic green. June is a good color, bicolored one. This Kiwi Spearmint is a new one we're trying this year. Lakeside Paisley Print was a hosta of the year last year. Mini Skirt's a fun mini hosta. Minuteman, which is similar to Patriot. And then of course Patriot, which is a pretty classic one. Crane Hands is more upright. Raspberry Sunday. Stir Fry. Summon Substance. Victory. 
this is a new one that I have a feeling everyone will want. It's called White Feather. It's a very light, whitish leaf that starts turning green, um, but it emerges white. Woo La La. This was um, a sport of Empress Woo, so it's a giant hosta, and it has the variegation where the classic Empress Woo is just um, a green leaf. Um, these are small, but they're ready to go. They're called Wee Hosta, and um, they're really fun, wavy uh, leaves.